To create your catalog, go to your Facebook Commerce Manager and then select Add Catalog. Next, select the type of catalog you would like to create. Select e-commerce and select next. Now you're provided with two options, upload product info and connect a partner platform. Select the option upload product info, assign catalog owner as yourself. Then you could set a name for your catalog. Once done, click the create button. Now your catalog is created and now click the view catalog button. So now with the catalog created, you can start adding product items inside your catalog. For that, click the add item button on the top right corner. Select the option data feed and then click next. Now, you could select the options, no, I need a feed template, and then you could select next. And first, you'll need to download a template file. So click build template. You could choose the option standard template and then click down template, download template. Once your template is down, downloaded, we'll need to open it on a Google Sheet. So let's go to your Google Sheet select file and let's import the downloaded file into your google sheet so click on import select upload choose browse and let's choose the cat catalog file that was just down csv file that was downloaded select it and click on open and now click on import data then select open now so now you can find the sheet has been uploaded and created. We wouldn't need the top row as it is not needed. So you can kind of delete the row. Now, you the first nine columns are mandatory and all information in this nine columns needs to be filled. So it includes ID, Title, description, availability, condition, price, product link, product image, brand. So in ID, you can start it with the number zero and you can go it sequentially. Title, which will require a product name, a description for the product, whether the availability, whether it is in stock or not, condition, it, whether it is a new product or an old product, price, you could you need to enter the price of the product, the link. You'll need to include the a web link of the product. Here, you'll need to include an image of the product. And in brand, you'll have to include a brand name for the product. Now, if you are a business who is selling products in India, then you'll have to include an extra column called origin underscore country, which is mandatory for all businesses selling products in India. And here, you will need to enter your two digit ISO country code. So for India, it is IN, for US, it is, for USA, it is US. So for any business that is selling products in India, will need to include this column origin underscore country. Now, if you are a business who imports products that is outside from India, then you will need to include two more new columns, which are importer underscore name, as well as importer underscore address. So for importer underscore name, you will have to include the company name and the company address will need to be included in the column under importer underscore address. So these are the columns that will need to be filled for uploading, updating the items inside your catalog. Now, once your Google Sheet with all the product information has been loaded correctly, Go back to your Commerce Manager and click on Upload File. Here, choose the option Use Google Sheet and copy your Google Sheet URL in the link. 
But before you copy it, make sure that this is, make sure your Google Sheet link is available to everybody. You need to remove it. So it should be anyone with this link and you need to save it. And then copy this URL and then go back to your Commerce Manager and paste your URL, paste your Google Sheet URL here. And then click Next. Here you can schedule when you want your feeds, product feeds to get updated. If you select Ali, every hour, if ever you add any new products to your Google Sheet, automatically it will get updated in the catalog. You have the options daily, weekly, etc. So let's select Ali as of now and then click next. And here you can set up your default currency. If your default currency is USD, you can set up USD. If it is Indian rupee, you can set up INR, select Indian rupee and you can save it. And then click save feed and upload. So once done, your catalog will be filled with product items like this. So all the uh, product items that were loaded into the Google Sheet will get loaded here in the catalog. Now you get another option also whereby you can segment your products into different type of categories or called sets. So here, say for example, we would like to create a set so that it would be much more easier for customers to find your products. So there is an option called sets here. Click on sets and then select create set. Here there are two options. You can use filters as well as manually select items. So let's select manually select items. Here you can create a set name, which is easy to. So let's name it as set two. And let's add which all products we need in this particular set. So let's select one, two, and three. And then select create. So now a new set or a category is created. By default, all your products are loaded into this all product set. And from there, you could create individual sets or collections of products inside your catalog. 